everyone and welcome back to the channel where your likes, comments, and subs are always greatly appreciated. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update the firmware for the Zoom LiveTrack L6 Compact Mixer. In order to check your current firmware version, you'll need to use the editor app that's available on Mac or PC. When you open up that screen, just look to the lower right hand corner. It should show you whatever current firmware version you're on for the L6. Now, if you are on version 1.00, you can go straight from 1.00 up to whatever the current firmware version is. You don't have to go through any intermediate steps. So it really doesn't matter what your starting firmware version is. You could start at any point and then just move all the way up to whatever the most current firmware release is by following these simple steps. The first thing that you're going to need to do is navigate to the Zoom website for whatever your region is. Once you're there, find the support and download section. When you're in the support and download section, you'll need to search for the live track L6. After you type that into the search bar, the L6 should appear. You can just go to that spot, click it, and it should open up the support and download page specific for the live track L6. Somewhere at the top of that page should be the new firmware version. If you just click that, Depending on what your browser settings are, it'll probably download a zip file to your downloads folder on your computer. Once you've got that zip file, simply extract the contents of that zip file, which should then create a new folder for yourself, along with a couple extra files within that folder. You can look at those files. Some of them are PDFs and usually instructions about the firmware update process or what the new releases are. But what you're most interested in is the bin file, the .bin file. So that's the file that you're gonna to need to find. You want to select that, and then you're going to want to drag that over to the SD card, the micro SD card that you're using for your L6. Drag and copy that into the root directory of your micro SD card. Don't put it into any kind of folders where you might have recorded projects or songs. Simply drop that bin file into the root directory of the SD card. From there, you can eject the SD card from your computer, and now you can put the SD card into your LiveTrack L6 while it's powered off. So just insert that SD card, and you're ready to begin the update process. For the update process, you want to have the L6 powered off, but if you are going to use AA batteries through this process, you wanna make sure they're relatively fresh AA batteries. If they're a little bit low and the L6 detects that, it may not proceed with the update process. I recommend that you just use the wall adapter with a USB cord powering it or use a battery bank that you know has a lot of juice left. In order to start the update process, what you want to do is press and hold the play button. Continue to hold that down while you hold down the power button. It takes a second, but the power light should start flashing slowly. You can let go. So let that power light flash slowly, blink slowly for a while, probably could take up to 30 seconds or so. Once the green light starts flashing rapidly, the update process is complete for your firmware. So power down the unit by just holding down the power button until it shuts off. Once it shuts off, you can now turn it back on by holding down the power button and your L6 should be updated to the most current firmware version. You can check that current firmware version by, again, using that editor app on your Mac or PC. So on that editor app, go to the lower right-hand corner and see if your firmware update has been successful and you've moved to the next firmware version. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover for this video. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section below. I'll try to get to them as quickly as I can. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time. All right, goodbye.